And what about you? Here we have our wee test subject, the Alfa Romeo. And tonight we're going to play with a few scopes. We've got our wee Pico out and we've got a few bits of metal that we found lying about. There's a bit of copper, there's a, an earth rod, metal steel in the form of a spanner and that's a bit of aluminium. And we'll have one of the, a cheap Chinese coil and plug tester and we're going to do a bit of multi-COP testing with these bits and pieces. Okay. Engine's running. First of all, we'll have this thing here. So turn it on a bit and flashes at the top and we're going to put this so there we go yeah tells you something tells you something's there but that's about it, just wee flashy lights on that, but uh, we're a wee bit more advanced. We only want to actually look at this signal, so uh, we're going to actually, what I've discovered is you can unscrew this here and use this paddle. I've got a wee jack here that fits into there and we're going to connect that up to the Pico. Okay, that's our paddle, paddle only on the green lead there and it's uh, just being held up at a wood there so it doesn't fall off and uh, if we go over to our Pico, I've had to uh, knock it down a wee bit there but that's uh, basically it. So with uh, 10 millisecond per division, just taking one kilo sample rate, voltage on 5 volt, I have it on a repeat trigger and that's what we're getting. So I'm just gonna fire it on the mix egg here. So we'll have a couple of, a couple of leads set up here for to do this. So let's see if we can do this here. Take that off. Connect that on there. Let's see what we're getting on the mix egg. So, there's a lot of interference in that. But it is there, it's not great, as you can see. So yeah, and that's that and off. So, okay. Right, so we're going to use these wee bits of metal as a homemade uh, multi-coil on plug tester. This is solid copper bar, that's an earth rod, metal steel and aluminium. But uh, I want to do a wee quick, a wee quick run through with uh, theory here. So I've made a few wee notes here and I'm going to talk just briefly about resistivity. So resistivity is a characteristic constant for every material. So copper will have a certain resistivity, steel, aluminium will all have its own resistivity. And that doesn't change, it doesn't change. But, but you can, there is an equation that you can put in the, the length and the, and the cross section and you can actually work out resistance based on the resistivity of the material. So resistivity is rho, it's this Greek letter, it looks like a P uh, on, uh, at a slant. And these are figures it's taken at 20 degrees. Uh, it's also known as uh, ohm meters. So it's the amount of resistance per meter. So there we have it there. Silver is the best, down to copper, and then anneal copper is a bit better, gold, aluminium, and then right down to steel there, iron, and then carbon steel, and then right down to your insulators there, er, and Teflon. So if we look at copper there, it's 1.72 by 10 to the minus eight. And then that figure goes up as you go down the list. So the worse it gets. So this is this is the best, 
and that goes down to the worst. So that's resistivity. Now there's this wee equation here. Uh, resistance being R equals rho L over A. So that's the length divided by the area, L over A. So we we quick one here that I've just done, just to sort of make it make it uh, more apparent. So R equals over L over A, uh, that's the copper, equals 100 meters over 2.5 millimeter square section, and that equals 688 uh, milliohms or 0 0.688 ohms. So you can work out the resistance of something by knowing what the material is and just the dimensions without having to test it. So that's just a wee quick theory on why we want to use these different metals. So what we're going to see is that better than that. Now that's steel with uh, copper on the outside of it. That's uh, an earth rod that you would hammer into the ground to get an earth. This is steel and that's aluminium. So it's just bits and pieces that uh, I had lying about. So We'll maybe, uh, we'll maybe give this, this one, this boy here, uh, a quick burst, first of all. Okay, so we have our copper bar lying across our, our multi-plug there. That bit of wedge is just to stop it falling off. It's under the green lead there, and we'll have the same settings as we had that paddle. So, as we can see, there's a, a vast difference in the, in the size of the capture. So we can actually afford to uh, Set that down a wee bit there. So we'll bring that down a wee bit if we wish. 50 milliseconds. Oh, we'll go the other way. Is that 5 milliseconds of vision? Keep it at 10. There's 20. And it's on a, a repeat trigger. The trigger's over to the left. So what we'll do is we'll try this mixing. Now, I've just figured out what all this, this interference is here. It's this, uh, it's this light. So if I turn this light off here, this shows you how sensitive this is. If I turn this light off, that's the light off. So yeah, looking good. So we'll swap them leads over. We'll just keep that light off then. We'll swap these leads over. Here, that's the picoscope. And um, we'll change it. We're just clipping onto this copper bar. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy here. So have you on the mix egg there? Let me see. Oh, it's, there's 20 milliseconds for division. A little too much. A ten. We'll uh, up that the five volts. So there's a capture there. So you can bring it down a wee bit there. And you're getting a decent capture. So, uh, that's with copper. Right, so now we have an earth rod lying across it. And we're back onto the Pico again. That's the capture of the Pico. Same settings, not changing them at all. So yeah, you get up that sample rate a bit. Get a wee bit more detail if you want it. But I'm happy enough with that one kilo sample there. Uh, 1,000 samples. So swap that over onto the next egg. We can get that clip off. Here is a mountain clip on. Right, that's it on the mix egg. A uh, bit of copper bar. And yeah, it's something similar. 
to that there. Okay, well, uh, dispose of this. Aluminium. So we're just laying it across. Might have to stick that wee wedge in, just keep it. Keep it from shaking, shaking apart on us. And we're going to connect the picoscope. See if we can get the picoscope on. There. So there's the uh, aluminium. Not a bad capture on that. On the piece of aluminium. We'll try out in the mix egg. Now, just a wee thing to note. All these coil packs, they all have different insulations and sort of different properties, so if you try this, you might see a different, a slightly different waveform than what I'm seeing. So it uh, depends on uh, what car you're on. A lot of this sort of stuff. So don't think that this capture here is going to be the same what you're going to get. So at your, at your spark there, and at your burn time, and all that, you can, so you can look up the internet to see the, what, these, uh, what this can tell you here. Okay, so I haven't changed any settings there at all. All right, now we're gonna go on to, that was the next segment one. We're gonna go on to this. I'm sure everybody has one of these to plan about. It works in cars anyway. So we're going to uh, see if that will set, sit there for us. And it's over the floor, more or less. We'll connect the Pico to it. So there's the Pico connected to metal steel. And there we go. That's a, a multi coil on plug with a spanner. Yeah, so we'll see what that looks like on the mix side. And keep that be laid off. So that the uh, mix side doesn't like it. The mix side's just too sensitive. And the fan's starting to burn on in this part here. So, there we go. On the mix side. On a spanner. So there we go. So, on this coil pack anyway, we don't really need any of these, uh, any of these type of metals. But what I have noticed, if you remember the, the waveform that we got out of that, they're all better than that. That one there was the worst, as I had to, I had to, I had to turn it up here. Uh, it was the, the smallest uh, capture with the paddle. So uh, what's next to do? Oh yes, the wee, the wee vantage. So I'll fire the wee vantage up and uh, see what it looks like. Right, so we still got our spanner on there and uh, we're connected around to the big vantage. We'll just spin her on here, see what happens. So, we're gonna go to lab scope, two channel scope. And 10 volts, 20 uh, milliseconds per division. And we're seeing nothing. At all. With the spanner. Right, so we've changed over to the copper bar. Uh, sorry about the fan running the car there. And we have a bingo here. We'll change that to 10. Uh, maybe up that a bit. To 20. That's not, that's not a bad we have here. 50 milliseconds, so we'll have to up this a right bit. And the voltage as well. Uh, it's a lot more than what we had on the on the other scopes. 
But yeah, you can see it there. On the copper. Uh, doesn't work at all on the spanner, so that's our resistivity there. The metal stay isn't working on the Vantage. But uh, the mix egg is that sensitive, it's picking up the it's picking up that under bonnet light. So you're gonna see just not her on there again. That's the light on. That's the light off. Yeah, and our uh, we were on a five volt scale on the uh, we're on a five volt scale there on the um, on the Pico on the Pico two thousand. So that's a wee cheap Pico two thousand series there two two oh four A that one is. Get that for less than a hundred quid. Uh, aluminium. Uh, should work on the on the wee vantage. Well, let me just try that. While right we're here, lift that off. So that's just it's just sitting there. It's uh, non fancy, no uh, manufacturing required. Just clip her on the end of her with with a carbon clip. Oh, it's not going to sit there very well. Put that wee wedge in there, really. See how that. Yeah, all I mean it works well on the van beach there. So if you've got a, a scope, a decent half decent scope, either that or something like that, you can uh, use an ordinary spanner on there. You can use that ordinary spanner as a pickup. That there is the worst. Um, that's basically much the same as that. And uh, the aluminium can't really tell the difference. But they both work on the wee, on the wee bandage, apart from the spanner. So there you go guys. That's a uh, multi coil on plug testing. Um, with uh, bits and pieces you might have lying about. You don't have to go out and buy all this, uh, all those uh, probes. They actually uh, don't work great, as far as I can see. So, uh, yeah, hope this helps somebody. Hope you found it interesting. And as ever, all the best, and bye-bye.